Welcome back guys, ED Ghost here, and today's video we're going to be flying the Hamden. Uh, yes, we're going to be bombing the German ships, and we got a uh, friendly in our 6 right now doing information with us. Yep, we're going to be both bombing at the ships. I don't know what their ship's called, but we just want to bomb. And I think another friend just joined, but don't worry about him. We're having fun here. Nice formation. We're just keeping our space all around the flight because um we're we don't wanna <coughs> crash into each other or get f hit by flak that easily. We would prefer to do a close uh, uh, a tighter formation, but if like um here for example, if a flak shot me and my parts probably hit him, I don't know. But we're just making it safe here, so we don't do that that much. Alright, let's turn a bit here to our target. Our target is the ship. Destroy destroy the ships with our torpedoes. If you want to see how the torpedoes actually look like on the Hamden. I mean, a lot of people have a Hamden, but if you want to see what the torpedo looks like. There it is. It's a huge torpedo under the ship. It's a Mark 13 torpedo. If we have one of these, and we're going to be bombing only one ship. It's going to be really really good let's turn a bit here but the only thing we have to get out of is probably the flak yes we have to be careful with the flak and this plane is not maneuverable that we can just roll around like this and just don't get hit by flak but it's pretty hard we don't have any sign of seeing the ships yet but we're getting close because uh, the ships are around there if I'm not wrong, yes, they're around there. Hmm. I'll speed up this video and um, I'll show you the process that when we actually get there. I'll speed the video a little bit. Oh my god, that guy just nearly hit me. Alright, I'm just gonna go for the daughter now. He's gonna come back down. Alright. Let's speed up a little bit. And boom! We found a ship. Let's get our torpedoes ready. It's really hard to shoot a torpedo. Like, it's really hard because you can't even see what's in front of you. Historic will be better, but in realistic, it's really hard actually. Because um, you get shoot by a flak, you don't know. It's really hard, but I can do it. Like, we want to get in a position like um, a landscape position because um, we can hit the ship easier. I mean, that's how you're supposed to use a torpedo. If you know what is this ship in Germany, um, comment down below if you actually know that. Okay, let me slow down a little bit. I think someone dropped their torpedo. Oh, my friend hit that. Let's see. If no, we, we we have to come around. It's so hard. I mean, I can't get a visual of the actual ship. Like, okay, let's come around. Alright, our friend hit there. We, he didn't sink that. We're going to sink that thing. And if you guys know any tips and tricks how to drop a torpedo on this Hamden, um, comment down below as well, because I have no idea how to do this really good. Look, look how bad I am. I'm gonna get shot soon. I dropped the torpedoes. Yep, it's going, it's going. 
this is going to take quite a long time to hit. We hit it! We absolutely nailed that. That was a big hit. We sunk that ship already. We sunk that thing. That was a nice hit, boys. Wow. That's pretty nice, actually. It's not that bad. Nice, guys. Nice. Nice. Really nice. What a great operation. I'm getting shot at now. I gotta go back home. I have nothing left. Yeah, because uh, the Hampton can only just torpedo the ship. That's all they can do. Pretty much, nothing much. Like they can't, they can't really do much. But you just can torpedo one round, go back, and you pretty much finish the mission. RTB boys. Alright, let's go back home. We got we gotta go back safely as well. If we return home, we absolutely finished the mission. So I uh, the mission is pretty much bomb a ship, both of us, sink this ship, which we already sunk that thing, and go back home safely. Yep, our ship is complete. 30, 37%. Maybe there's a, another squad coming in back, but that is our mission. Alright, I'm probably going to speed up the video. It's going to take a long time until I land, so I don't want to get you so boring. I don't want this video to get boring as well, so speed up a little bit would be cool. And at this point, I, I, yes, I actually see my friend, but he was doing some really weird stuff. I don't know what he's doing. He's to pretend, he looks like he's pretending to be a fighter, which he's not. I'm scared he's gonna crash into me, or I don't want a collision to happen. So I'm gonna speed up a little bit just to make him not, just to make him not catch me up. And there we are. We spotted the English Channel. I, I don't know what's this called actually. I forgot his name all the time. I turn autopilot off. Da -da -da -da. This plane is a really nice cockpit. Pretty nice. Not that bad at all. He's down there. What a nice view. It looks a bit foggy today, but it's always foggy in the English Channel. Cloudy, foggy, that's all the main point of Normandy, pretty much. I mean, like, this game should change a little bit. Um, they should call this map actually Normandy, because it, it is actually Normandy. Like, look at that, it's, it's Normandy. Gears down. do collision here we might not see each other if I didn't look at that map at that map I wouldn't even turn because I wouldn't even see him this happened to me before on a BF 10 so 
so the other guy was on a BF-102, and I'm sorry, and I was uh, in a 109, and I didn't see the 110 is actually under me, so I was kind of turning, then we just both crashed into each other, which is an accident collision, and it was, we were so confused, but we were ass quarters, and, um, like that, that just happened, it just happens like that, it absolutely happened. We move away from him a little bit. He's so scary. Something like this is super scary. You almost make it back home, but you just die because of your own teammate not watching out for other planes. Here you go. There we go. We had to watch out for him a lot of time. There we go. Touchdown. <laughs> um, what was that? Yeah, what was that? Right, let me try to land. Nope, 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 nope. I think that's what just happened. He bounced it too much that he actually uses. Yep, that's what happened. That is what happens. Why? It's so hard to land. We were so close. Yes, I see that. I see that, bunny. I see. I think this is what happens, so when you get too slow, you might get a tail strike, or if you try to use your uh, aileron a little bit, it would make you even stall harder, and when you stall harder, you pretty much have no control of the airplane, and you just crash, like, completely crash your plane. And it's because of not, it's not a smooth area, too, like, not a smooth surface. It's, it's not smooth at all. It's not a smooth airfield, so... That might be another problem, but we just can't land. But if we practice a lot, yes. Same thing as the HE-111. It's so hard to land. Same thing in this airfield. Like, But if you like this video, leave a like. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new. If you're not new, you can still subscribe. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.